did you how did you feel about that little scuffle between her and Nikki? Did that um, really bother okay, you? Okay, it really bothered me, of course, because I'm at, I'm in jail at the time. You understand? Ah. So I'm in jail, and I honestly feel like if I was there, it would not have happened. And I, I stand by what I say. It definitely would have happened that way. Before she would have had that knot, I would have had that knot. Mm. Period. Like, and <laughs> even if I see Riley to this day, I'm gonna smash Riley. Like, no, we don't want to. We don't want to encourage that. What do you mean by smash? We don't want to encourage that, though. What do you mean by smash? Though? <laughs> you, what, what I mean is, you feel me? I'm with whatever with whoever. Like, yes. I'm with whatever with whoever. You feel me? I already I feel away against her because at the end of the day, you feel me? You taking on somebody else's beef, which is cool because I take on my friend's beef. But the friend is here now. You understand? I'm here now. But so since you taking on somebody else's beef, you taking on Nikki beef or whatever the situation is, let me take on Cardi beef. Let's have a one on one. When well, here's the thing though, start like you um you do have a lot to lose. I really, really beat Cardi's ass bad. Mm. Like really bad. And I'm not trying to you know, and I'm not trying to be messy. You went home and told people that security hit you. And we let that lie continue because of legal reasons. I told Ra don't tell anyone you hit her because I don't want nobody trying to sue me because they're going to come to the person with money. Mm -hmm. Instead, you went home and told you, I guess you had to look like a gangster in front of your friends and your family and da -da -da, I get it. Ra beat you so bad that I was mad at Ra. Like Ra, I'm talking about the punches was so hard in your head. That I was mad at Rob. I'm like, yo, I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my thing, Nicki Minaj, right? How you saying that I got ragged by Ra Lee when there is so many footages of that night, every single angle, and where am I getting ragged at? Why would I be here sitting in line like, oh, yeah, I did this, I did that, knowing that the next day there was going to be so much footages of that same night? And second of all, how you say... That I was the, the wild animal, that I attacked you, that you was mortified, that you was humiliated, playing the victim, but now you're the gangster. You need to pick a side. Do you want to be the victim or do you want to be the gangster? You lie so much, you can't even keep up with your fucking lies. First, you're saying that you got the footage, your cameraman got the footage, but now you're talking about you want to pay somebody 100000 if they give you the footage? Yo, make sense when you're talking. I thought you was the victim. I know what this footage of. You standing on the wall talking about, I'm standing right here, Miss Chung Lee, the street fighter. Get the fuck out of here. And since you want to bring that motorsport shit up again, I'm glad you brought it up because I've been dying to talk about it for a fucking hot minute. First of all, you changed your verse two or three times and the day before... We were supposed to do the motorsport video. You turned in your last verse of it. And I was not feeling of you talking about, oh, if Cardi the QB, I'm Nick Lombardi, following it up with, bitch, you my son, go sit on a party. Bitch, you not my coach because you never helped me to get in this fucking career. And I'm nothing like you. So you, I'm definitely not your fucking son. I'm a real ass person. You not. So fuck out of here. And I called you that night. Oh, and I got the receipts, babe. All right. There's my phone. I'm going to my camera. That I went all the way up, October 22nd, this was your number, I called you twice and you didn't answer. No, show you, show you, show you, it's from the beginning. And I told my label, I'm not doing the video if she don't change her verse. And then my thing is, if you had a problem that I went on the radio and I said that you changed your verse, which you did, which I'm not lying, sis, you had a whole six months to call my phone and talk about it like a grown ass woman or you could have hit up Quavo so we could link up like the first time that we linked up and talk about shit in LA. But no, you waited a whole six months when you dropped the single to talk about it. How convenient is that? Wow, how convenient is fucking that? And then you wanna talk about how I wanted to be on the Creepy Kush remix and I was trying to stop your back. Sis, what are you talking about? First of all, I didn't even know Bad Bunny back then. That's one. And second of all, for months, I was promoting a Spanish record with Osuna that everybody knew that I was promoting. So what are you talking about? You're the one that be hopping on remixes. So why would I want to hop on a song that was already out in the Latin community for like three, three, four, five months? 
What are you talking about? But you, but, uh, but let's talk facts now, okay? Now let's talk about how you barked at your managers because they got the, because you and Jeezy got the same management and you barked at them because they gave me the no limit record, which they presented to you first and you didn't like the record. You didn't believe in the record. Nobody actually believed in the record. Me and Jeezy, every single time that it climbed up the charts, we was extremely excited and you barked at your management because they gave me the record and that's fucking fact. Then since you're talking about suing and shit because you claiming that Riley beat me up, sis, I don't got to sue nobody because of a fight. I'm a street bitch. That is called snitching, you know? But since you want to talk about suing, maybe I should sue you for defamation of character since you want to claim that I'm using something illegal called payola because you don't understand why I am so fucking successful. And my thing is, just like every new artist that had a mega hit like SZA, Ella May, after they get a mega hit, everybody wants to listen to them. So why is it that when people want to listen to me, you cannot believe it, that I, I got to be cheating for that? First of all, you was bopping to my shit. Second, my new single came out called Money, right? So my thing is, my single hasn't even impacted radio yet. And yet, it's doing so good on Apple. It's actually number one on the top, char top charts all genres on Apple. And that's the same shit that you got your queen radio on. So how can I possibly use payola on some shit that endorses you? Man, is you shitting me? Ugh. And then, let's talk about the leak number shit, right? Let Tell me if this don't make sense. How come my phone number got leaked one hour after the altercation at the Harper's Bazaar party? Tell me how Mariah Lynn number got leaked a couple of weeks, a couple of months. I'm not sure when, you know, that whole Gwyneth situation was happening. And Raleigh used to have her number. Jason Lee phone number just got leaked recently. And who had his number? Raleigh. How come everybody that y'all have issues with that... Y'all have the numbers in y'all camp, they numbers got leaked. My sister just got into an argument with Raleigh, right? Well, how come my sister number haven't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. How come my new number hasn't gotten leaked? Because y'all don't have it. Isn't that fucking funny? Not funny and this is not about attacking. This is about get this woman some fucking help. This woman is at the best stage in her career and she's out here throwing bottles and throwing shoes? Who the fuck is gonna give her a fucking intervention? Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. You niggas don't care if somebody, until somebody's fucking dead. You niggas want somebody to fucking die until y'all stop. Until y'all stop this bullshit laughing at this shit. This shit ain't fucking funny. You put your hands on certain people, you gonna die. Period. And y'all sitting here like making this shit a joke. I'm not the bitches in a strip club. And I'm not a bitch on a reality show. My money is very fucking long, too. I was mortified. I was in Alexander Voltier gown, okay? Off the motherfucking runway, okay? And I could not believe how humiliated it all felt because... We, and I use we loosely, and I'm going to clarify we, how we made ourselves look. And I'm going to get back, but before I go, I want to say that I would never discuss anyone's child. And it's so sad that for someone to pin that on me because I'm the bad guy and they know people would believe them. So let me just go on record having said I would never talk about anyone's child or parenting i don't care about anyone's parenting i don't give a shit and it's so crazy to me that people always need to make onika the bad guy if you're right in whatever you're doing you don't ever have to make someone into the bad guy just speak your truth when you have to say that I said or did something that you know I've never said or did. I didn't see it. Where did, where, where was that? Where no clue. Come from? No clue. I can I flex. Just... I have no clue. I just want to let the world know that Onika Tanya Mirage would never, has never, and will never speak ill of anyone's child. I am not a clown. That's clown shit. You hear that? 
girl is something else. Ain't it something nasty? Star, see, still going around here talking about it. But you know what? I'm starting to think really hard. And I said to myself, Star, maybe Ra did put them knots on Cardi. Do you guys remember? I'm not trying to be messy, but Nicki Minaj, she revealed that Star really put them knots on Cardi B, remember? But Cardi B, she never exposed Ra. She never said it, maybe because she was ashamed. But Nicki Minaj said, girl, you know, we let you slide because we didn't tell the real story. And she didn't want, I guess, to get sued. And we know Cardi B, she's not about the police. She's not going to rat nobody out. So... You know, they used to take into the streets, and it makes sense. Now that Star know that Ra really put them knots on her head, oh, she coming for Ra. Do y'all think that's what's happening? I don't know, you know? I just think it is, like, my speculation, because I'm trying to put it together. I'm like, girl, like, that was so long ago. You know, Ra didn't put, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking she didn't touch Cardi. And she still want she still want to touch on Ra, but I thought about it. I'm like, remember Nicki Minaj exposed that tea that Ra really put the knots on Cardi B? Hmm. Okay, I can understand it now. So Star, if that is true, I I feel what you're saying. Okay, it's kind of it ain't justified, but it's understandable. But y'all not gonna tell the whole story, you know. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think that Star should leave it alone? And if Rod did put those knots on your friend head, would you go back and, I guess, tap a lick for your friend? We all know Star, she's been Cardi B bodyguard. Yeah. So she want to protect her friend and she want to get re revenge. And we know that's the type of girl that she is. She's a revengeful type of girl. All right, I don't know. Make sure y'all call that hotline. Let us know how y'all feel about this. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Bye.